Okay, so anyway, there are four main concepts you need to learn in order to effectively use the Thesis 2.1 Skin Editor. And the first concept is, what is a skin? Now, a skin is a collection of templates and a set of styles. And uh, you're going to see what that means here a little further down the road. But um, uh, templates and styles are, de are skin dependent. That is, each template layout is dependent upon the skin that's currently active. And if you activate a different skin, then the template settings that you made in the first skin are no longer going to be applied because the template settings of the second skin that you activated are the ones that are going to be applied. So, for example, if you switch back and forth between Thesis Classic Responsive Skin and My Agility Skin, they style the same templates, but the template styles, but the template layouts are going to be different between the two of them because the template is dependent upon the skin. Uh, so is the style. Now, the style, of course, is, you know, what what colors things are and what things look like, right? Those are absolutely dependent upon the skin that you are using. So the skin is the, the is the part of Thesis and WordPress that displays your content in a particular arrangement, a particular way, with a particular appearance. Okay, that's what the skin is. The second thing you need to learn is what are the relationships between the templates and the web pages, or what is the relationship between templates and web pages? A template displays your content as a web page. So templates create the structure uh, for um, what's going to be displayed, and they include content placeholders that um, stand in for actual content. And again, we'll see this more specifically as we work our way through the class. But the template is really the, is the, the thing that tells a particular page what to display. And different types of pages use different templates. So, for example, if you've got a static front page on your site, like we have on this Barking Chihuahua site that we're working on, that uses the front page template. The blog page, or your posts page, um, uses the home template. A typical ordinary page uses a page template, and a typical blog post uses the single template. These are all default behaviors inside of WordPress. Right, this is the normal behavior of WordPress, and, and most people don't really have to interact with the concept of templates when they deal with WordPress because the theme designer has handled all of that template stuff for you. However, because Thesis gives you full control over the HTML of your site, at that point it gives you full control over the content and arrangement of your templates. And when you're working in the skin editor, the thing you're going to spend the most time on is the template part of the editor. So the third concept you need to master and understand is how boxes are used to create templates. Because that's the whole drag and drop thing, right? What we'll be doing is we will select the template that we're going to edit, and then we will drag and drop boxes around to arrange the templates. And so, really, that's the thing you're going to spend your most time doing when you're customizing your skin, probably, um, is rearranging the boxes in order to set up the layout of your templates. Okay, so uh, boxes are used to add HTML structure to a template. They can also be used to add content to the template, and actually, more often than not, they are used to do both things. We're going to talk about that. We're going to see that extensively as we move on here in the next half hour or so. But that's what boxes are used for. They add HTML structure to a template, they add content to the to that HTML structure, and sometimes they do both HTML structure and content. And then finally, the fourth concept you're going to need to learn is how CSS is used to style templates. Now, CSS is a language, and that language actually stands for, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. But CSS is a language 
I almost said programming language here, which it is, of course, but I don't want to scare anybody. So CSS is a language that for creating style rules that are applied to HTML elements. So if you've got an HTML, HTML element, say a, an H1 tag for a header tag, then you can create a style rule that says display this H1 tag with this font size and this uh, color and this font family and that sort of thing, right? That's a that's a rule that defines how that H1 tag is going to look. And that's what CSS is. It's a language for, that creates style rules that are applied to HTML elements. And CSS styles are used for two things. One of them is they're used to style your template structure. We're going to do a bunch of this today, but for example, CSS defines the width of columns. Right? You don't actually see the column on your page. What you see is the content that's contained inside of the column. And that CSS, uh, a CSS rule is saying, make this column this wide. So that's one of the things it does, is it styles the template structure. And the other thing it does is it styles the content that's displayed inside the template. So back to our H1 tag, you know, the heading is a content that's that's displayed in the template and and you can create a style to style that heading. So it styles both things. It styles both the template structure and it styles the content that's being displayed. Okay, I, I wanted to sort of introduce those four main concepts because in a few minutes we're going to be spending all of our time working on those things.